Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 236. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, in this trick, we want to see um, how to make calculations for a home improvement project. Uh, this is a project that I was just working on over the weekend. Um, so I have all of these windows and doors and we needed to cut some wood to uh, put in the window so that uh, robbers wouldn't uh, be able to open. So I went around and measured everything and I just had a little list here. Um, first off, I want to add some formatting to this. I'd like to uh, have inches here. So I'm going to control one and go to number, custom, and then up here in type I'm going to type 0, 0.00. .00 space, and then a double quote, space, single quote, single quote, space, double quote. So that'll give me my inches. Next, I'd like to convert this to a uh, database, Excel list or Excel table. In 2003, you use Control L, and that's a list. 2007, you control Control T. And uh, it'll do a couple uh, great things. Click OK. As I add new records, any formulas that I have um, using this range right here, this range will be dynamic. So that's one advantage of this table. Another one is it's easy to uh, sort. And you can actually add a function to the bottom that will add. So I'm going to right click and appoint to table and then totals row. Notice it adds a total row down here. Uh, I don't like that formatting. I'm going to see if I can uh, have some black here. Now, um, what in the world is that subtotal? And what's this 109 here? Now, um, I happen to know this one is uh, sum. And maybe I know the average one, too, is 101. But I can't remember all the functions. So one trick is when you're, you have subtotal like this, uh, you can click on the f of x. And very importantly, um, you click right here. I'm sorry, right here, and it says, is the number 1 to 11 that specifies a summary function? But, oh, here's the trick. You click here on this help. This actual help is quite good. And it will give you immediately a list um, for subtotal. And if you s scroll down, you could see uh, includes hidden values 1 to 11, uh, ignores hidden values uh, 101 to 111. So we can see average is 101, and sure enough, sum is 109. So if you forget, which 99.9% .9 of us do forget what these are, that's how you do it. You just look and help. Click OK. All right, and the, the nice thing about that subtotal at the bottom is it also will update. As you add new records, uh, it will update. Now, uh, we have our total. Now, I want to get how many feet. How many feet equals the, all the inches divided by 12. So it looks like I need to go and get uh, about 26 feet um, to uh, cut all these things up. Now, one other thing. I'd like a list of all of the unique values. Because see, there's a 32.5 and a 32.5. Um, I would like to uh, have a list of all the cuts I have to make and then the number of cuts I have to make here. So for 32.5, I would want that here and the number 2 here. Now, uh, one way to do this is to get a unique list. I'm going to highlight the column, not including the total at the bottom, but it, yes, including the field name. For this trick, you have to have the field name at the top. And then I'm going to go to Advanced Filter, Data. Advanced Filter. In 2003, you go to the Data menu, Filter, and then Advanced Filter. And uh, it's taking a little while here. Look at that, how slow that is. Better try that again. Nope. Oh, there we go. Now, um, it looks like it, it's, it's grabbing the right thing. I want to say copy to another location. No criteria, because the criteria is this, unique records only. And I want to say copy to right here. Just like that, it gives me a unique list. Now I can just simply use the count if function. I'm going to highlight the whole range right in advance. Equals count if. And what do I want to count? Uh, the range 
uh, you can simply just highlight this, and, and that is dynamic, that t formula right there. So in t earlier version, you could do that. In this version, uh, 2007, you can actually use the table nomenclature. So the, the name, you have to know the name of this table. I think it's uh, table 15. And then you do, open, do a square bracket. And it has a drop down here, so I'm going to pick length, right? So that's a fancy way of doing this. Uh, by all means, the, uh, in 2007, you can use this or simply highlight the range. It's locked now. I don't have to lock it. If you're using cell references, be sure to hit F4, comma, and what do I want to count? One cell to my left. Close parentheses, control enter, because I've highlighted the whole range in advance. The active cell has a formula, so to populate all the cells, control and enter. And then there you have it. There's the uh, number of counts. The nice thing about this is now uh, if I add a, a new record by hitting tab, um, by the way, this unique list um, is not dynamic, so that won't update. But let's say um, I'm going to do the uh, living room door, and it's uh, 32.5. Uh, that formula, that uh, formatting didn't come down. I don't know why that didn't do that. But uh, nevertheless, now this uh, 32.5, now that updated. Not only that, but that updated also. 28, looks like I need uh, 29 feet, 30 feet probably. All right, that's a little bit about uh, just some Excel tricks for a home improvement project. See you next trick.